Amazon's Uber-like delivery service, instant gigapixel imagery, and no more IPs for you. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Beat. Howdy, everyone. Man, it seems like it's been weeks since I've done a normal show. I spent the last couple of weeks welding up some crazy stuff, like my new welding tables and that zombie apocalypse weapon. Plus, Carter and I have been busy inventing a new sport. Don't worry, we'll announce it soon. On to the news. Amazon Flex is a new service that basically lets anyone become a delivery driver. They're claiming drivers can make $18 to $25 an hour, set their own schedule, and make as many or as few deliveries as they want seven days a week. Flex just launched in Seattle, but soon anybody will be able to deliver in New York, Baltimore, Miami, Dallas, Austin, Chicago, Indianapolis, Atlanta, or Portland. You have to be at least 21 years old, have a car, a driver's license, a clean background check, and an Android phone. Interestingly, I don't see anything about insurance. Anyway, the plan is to have their new Flex Army deliver Amazon Prime Now packages, which is their two hour guarantee service, but they say you may deliver other types of Amazon packages as well. So it seems like a pretty brilliant move to diversify delivery options, which should also give them greater negotiating power with the big carriers like UPS or the post office. Plus, let's face it, you might make $18 to $25 an hour for all the hours you want initially, but when they have enough drivers to create some delivery competition, I'm sure we'll see either the hourly rate or the available hours decreasing. If you want to hop on board though, you can sign up at flex.amazon.com. And North America is out of new IP version 4 addresses. They've been claiming this was coming for so long that it's no surprise. But Aaron has finally announced the last of its free pool of fresh IP for version 4 addresses. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, basically every time your computer connects to the internet, you get an IP address, which kind of acts like a phone number for your machine. It can send requests out to the world, and the routers keep track of where the requests are coming from and send the responses back to the right machine. IP version 4 dates back to 1981 and only has room for 4.3 billion addresses, which seemed like a lot at the time, but now that your watch and your toaster need IPs, it just isn't cutting it. So there's a new system, IP version 6, and it has 340 undecillion, 282 decillion, 366 nonillion, 920 octillion, 938 septillion, 463 sextillion, 463 quintillion, 374 quadrillion, 607 trillion, 431 billion, 768 million, 211,456 addresses available. So I think we should be okay for a while. Just to prove that it is absolutely not safe to assume you're anonymous in crowds anymore, there's a new and completely amazing 360 degree image taken at a Patriots game that clearly lets you zoom in and see all 68,756 people who were in attendance at the game that day. These are essentially 20 gigapixel images which require stitching together hundreds of photos taken by a single photographer. Now the process isn't new, but it's normally used for photos of landscapes or skylines. What is impressive here is that the photographer is capturing the entire scene in 3 to 15 minutes depending on the size of the event. They send the images off to a centralized computer for processing and it stitches them into a big photo that's big enough to identify each and every person in the crowd. Then it divides the image into 60,000 smaller images and makes them available for various zoom levels online. I'm most impressed with how the technology handles ghosting. That's the phenomenon that occurs when things move in the image, which presumably all of the people were doing while it was captured. But if you zoom in, you can distinctly see every person and it looks like the whole scene was caught at once. <laughs> okay gang, that's it for today's show. Hope you enjoyed it and if so, how about a thumbs up and share it on your favorite social platform. Also, we'd love to have you as a patron and you can help support the show by heading to geekme.tv forward slash patron. A few bucks a month really helps when everybody chips in. I'm John P. See you next time.